Warning, proceed with caution. The thoughts and views that these individuals have or speak on are for entertainment only. The hosts of this podcast are from the streets and for the streets. Please consume responsibly. Episode 15. <laughs> nah, don't do What's, that. What's wrong with you now? <laughs> What's wrong, What's wrong, wrong with, you with you now? You don't want to start it off different. <laughs> <sighs> episode 15. Welcome to our spooky episode. <laughs> We, oh. we cried once on this show. Melissa was looking for an excuse to cry ever since. I'm not crying. I'm moping. <laughs> it's She's different. She's getting a character. Wednesday Adams. No, I, we're not talking about Halloween. We're not celebrating Halloween. We're not doing anything because you rained on my parade. Good. It's only the third, guys. <laughs> this is... Let's bring it down and not... Hey. Shh, shh, shh. Is that even Halloween? <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> all October is Halloween. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Just like all December is Christmas. That's different. Christmas starts in November 25th? The day, the day after, after Thanksgiving? The day after Thanksgiving. That's, that's when, different. That's when that station flips. That's when Mariah Carey... What station? ...goes back alive. Coast 103.5. Los Angeles. All right. All right. <clears throat> three two one that was that wasn't it oh we're already going girl we're in this we're already in you the wanted to start like you're this. fucking depressed already i'm not depressed i'm mad there's a difference depressed era lo que estaba la semana pasada o sea ya and pasó that. and the one before that and the one before, and that. The one before that but i'm pissed today because this is a very special episode for me yesterday i was on the phone with Vinny very late at night and i said to him this episode needs to be special why because it's the first episode of october and if you know me you know how important october is to me you think that's why you were depressed all of september because you knew october was next no and it was the most happiest time of the year for you now no i said why i was depressed because i fucking crashed my car because of this because of that and Mercury was in Gatorade. Because you were looking too far ahead. Mm. Mm. And talked over. We're here, October. Ooh, it is special. I changed the logo. The, the lights. Orange, orange graphics. Orange lights. Not enough. Yeah, a little orange on your... It's not orange. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Oh. Welcome to episode number 15. I'm Melissa, and I don't know how we're going to do it today. Because she's mad. She's mad. I used to work at this place called Burger Depot in La Puente. Um, and the boss used to come out. And when he would piss me off, he'd walk around. He was a short man. And he'd be like, she's mad. She's <laughs> mad. And that would piss me off even more because I couldn't say anything. But ever since then, I do say, she's mad. Yeah, you don't lose your job at Burger Depot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I worked there God for forbid. a couple of years. They gave really good tips. And I got a lot of hours. I've always worked like after school, I would go straight to work. So, you know, Is a lot of places, a lot of places don't give you like a lot of hours and mm. stuff. But Don Chuy, you'd hook it up with Horses the hours. Name Chuy. <laughs> <laughs> and you name your dog like that? <laughs> Keep him around? Well, wow. Here's the thing his name was Jesus, Don Jesus. We would call him, but. I, I recently, never knew that was a correlation like that. Me either. I recently found out. So my mom got here and she goes, Hi, Jesusito. To my dog, Chewbacca. And mm -hmm. I was like, Chew, Chew. She's like, see, Chewy. And I'm like, no, mom. His, not, his name's not Chewy because of Jesus. His name's Chewy because of Chewbacca. She's like, pues yo le digo Jesusito. She calls my dog Jesusito, which is bad because that's Jesus' name. <laughs> yeah, because I know Francisco is Pancho. <laughs> Praying to Chewy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Charlie is Dick in English. Richard Ooh. is Dick. Why? Mm hmm. Nobody knows. Eduardo is Lalo. Yeah. Shout yeah. Out to my godfather. What else? Enrique is Kike. I see that. Mm hmm. What about women? I know Guadalupe, Lupe. No Jaime is Jimmy. Unless you're Jimmy, you're Jimmy. <laughs> that was good. Uh, um. <laughs> All right, move on. There goes that one. All right, next thing. Vin Vincent is usually Vinny. No, I'm just Vince. I don't know why. Is your dad's name Vicente? 
And your mom's like, I'm going to do it, but halfway. My grandma. Your mom's. Apparently, my grandma couldn't spell my name. I don't know. Couldn't spell out Vincent all the way. Left it at Vince. You know, that's um, my brothers and sisters. I believe that's why they, did, they named their kids like easy names because they were worried about grandparents enunciating names. Mm. Yeah, no, the, my name lineage is weird because it's my grandma, the one that passed, uh, Vicenta. Mm hmm. And then her son is Vicente, and then I'm just Vince. Are you going to name then, your kid Vince? Yeah, I'll probably go Vincent, just to keep it, like, weird. The my third. I'm not going to name Julian. Why? Hmm. I love my name. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like, hmm. I have a theory with that. With my name? No, with men not wanting to call their kids that. What's the there theory? There can only be one. No, I feel like the majority of men want it. But because the women... Or la mujer is... He's back. Jesús! <laughs> Te me callas! Jesucito. Jesucito. <laughs> um, but the, sometimes women don't want it. So guys are like, mm, whatever. Like, they, they don't even want to say yes because you might marry someone, Vinny, that is like, no, I don't want to name the baby Vince. Mm. And then you're going to look silly because you're like, I really wanted it. And so you'd rather just say you don't want it. But I, in my core, believe that all men want to name their kid a junior. My son's going to be named after my grandpa. What Ruben. if you have three boys? Uh, Ruben. And okay. I don't know, the other two just... <laughs> all different uh, Ruben, ways to spell Ruben. Ruben <laughs> and Rube. No. <laughs> um... No, I, Ruben, and then like I was thinking after my dad, but there's so many Daniels and Danielas in my family. Yeah, that name is gone. That's it. That name's done. It's reached its its limit. I don't know my other. But dad. how many do you talk to? You talk to all, all of, them? of them? Yeah, because my family to Manuel, there's so many of them, and I still named Isaac. Obviously, Manny. my dad, my brother, my sisters Daniela, my cousins Hil Ilaria Daniela. I have a cousin Daniel. My uncle, my tío, Daniel. I actually really like the name Daniela. If I had a girl, I was like Daniela, Emma, Fernanda. I, I like. Time, my sister was going through like her white face, cool white girl face. She was like, it's Carla Danielle. I'm like, shut mm. the front door. Hi, Carla. Danielle. <laughs> Carla Danielle. That's her name? Yeah. Do you have a middle name? No. Do you have a middle name? You know, I think legally it's Junior. No. No, no. I think because I, I need to look again, but I think I saw for middle name, they put Junior. So you're Vince Junior, you borrow Junior? But is it JR or is it Junior spelled? So, <laughs> so on my, I think on my birth certificate, I got to double check, but I remember seeing like, why is Junior in the middle name area? Well, my middle <laughs> name is Rios. Really? Yes. My middle name is Rios. My, my name is Melissa Rios and then my last name. But your last name you took after? My husband. So what was it before? Mind your business. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Something we're going to discuss off camera, guys. My real last name. Really? Well, so, my mom's last name is Rios. Uh -huh. I got some deep diving to do. So my, my dad's last name. <laughs> I got hookups at the at the federal buildings. I'll find out. <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> what is her real identity? Melissa. I went to court. Real name. No, one time I went to court. And I had got a ticket for something and I was sitting there and, you know, they go alphabetical order where they pass you to see the judge and they'll yeah. tell you whatever. I was there since eight in the morning, 3 p.m. comes. They go, go to lunch, come back, left, came back mm. till 4 p.m. Like Zapata or something. Came back 4 p.m. They said the last name it was like with the Z or something. And I was like, they never called me. So I went up and I gave the cop my papers and he goes, you were like one of the first ones. Mm. And I never heard it because they called me by my last name. And I'm used to hearing Melissa Rios everywhere. I'm Melissa Rios, school papers, whatever. But legally, when they call me my last name, I don't even look because that's not me. Really? Yeah. A through D. So I was there all day <laughs> like a motherfucker <laughs> no my name so is so when it start off with the game <laughs> my name is melissa rios it's just melissa rios and another last name but and i don't no longer not not no more not no most not no more because i got really married and my husband wanted me to initially drop both last names and just be melissa martinez but 
the oh, fuck? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept Damn. both of them. That's cool. I'm just Julian Gutierrez, guys. That's it. Plain and simple. So, and you're junior. <laughs> junior, <think> junior. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think my my mom said my grandma did all the paperwork, and I think it was screwed up. So your grandma did the paperwork. Check. Why did your grandma do the paperwork? <laughs> Why did she do the paperwork? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. I never really <laughs> well, had you, you were there. there. You, just mean, <laughs> you just weren't cooperating. <laughs> I wonder what my dad was doing. I think he was there. Where maybe. was your dad? Wait, maybe, yeah, hold on. Let's talk about it. He wasn't it. doing the paperwork. I don't know. Actually, I got to ask that. And I'll bring it up the next episode. <laughs> He's at the park. He's just like, <laughs> I feel like something's. My ears are burning. <laughs> Dude was like freshly 18. Like, I don't know. Oh, he didn't. Oh. He had okay. detention. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, I'm about to have a kid. No, no, no. Should have been on time to school. Um, hey, that's crazy. Your parents have been together since. Because I am since not the same person as I was when I was 18. Yeah, they aren't either. I know. So that must be really weird. Like my husband and I sometimes even look back. I was 26 when I got married. I'm 33 now. So now like he'll be like, hey, you remember when <laughs> he'll say some shit and I'm like, wow. So your parents have been together that long. It's like, fuck. And they still like each other. I watch them grow up. <laughs> <laughs> like they still like each other. They're still cool with each other. They still hang out with each other. Like most people wouldn't have made it that far. Yeah. Even through pandemic, so thirty pretty cool. Well, how long were they? Were they how long were they together before you were born? I think they stood together because of me. I think they were with each other for like a year, maybe. Mm-hmm. I think my mom said she met him with, when they were fifteen, or she was fifteen. So they've been together thirty-four. How years. many years so older like is your that. dad? Two. Cause I think my dad was a senior and she was a sophomore. And then they just stuck through. Little cradle robber, huh? Ah, we see. Illegales oh. ustedes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I don't. I know they had me out of wedlock, right? Ah, uh, se comieron la torta antes del recreo. Like a <laughs> mini snow over here. I told my mom, like, oh, yeah, I know. I told my mom, I'm a bastard. It's fine. I'm Jon Snow in this story. It was um, the reference. Oh damn! Right. You gotta watch Game of Thrones. Um, they got married. I think when they had my brother Nate. <laughs> So nine. Do they have wedding pictures? They do. They got married in Vegas. I can't wait till you oh, post yeah, them. Oh yeah, they eloped. I don't know if they eloped. I think they just did it in Vegas. Like you, Elvis. <laughs> the picture was planned. It looked oh. planned out. I think, but I didn't see the video. They're all like, "Do you, Vincent?" They were drinking. Take this pretty mama. Be your- My uncles and stuff were all drinking in the. I've seen some of the videos, but yeah, I think they got married in '97. I was seven on years Valentine's old. Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day? I... 97. It's 10. Yeah. I was 6. 97. I think my mom was pregnant with my brother. That's when they got married. Shit. She was like, fuck, number two. Number I two, have to. Might as well. <laughs> Do you, Rosie Abar, take this? <laughs> <laughs> lovely man over here to be your teddy bear. Oh, yeah. Hablando de, de Vegas, it got lit during the weekend. Did you guys watch the Canelo fight? Yeah. Yes. Guys, I am a big Canelo fan. Like now, or you've always been? No, I've always fucked with him. I think he's funny, but I've deep dived into like him a little bit as a person, like as an athlete, as you know, and I'm like, wow, just, I don't know. I admire him a little bit. I like it. I like how he like walked out representing Mexico. He always, you know, tries to represent. He has great work ethic. Yeah, and he's been fighting his whole life since he was a teenager. I, I heard that his brother was the fighter. His brother was supposed to be like, uh, you know, the fighter. And then he ended up fighting. Older brother? Yeah. That's usually how it is. Like, my brother was cool at sports. I was great at sports. My younger brother's even better. And my sister, she was the most athletic out of all of us. But she just was never liked to play. Wow. But yeah, because yeah, they're just messing around. It's like, and then you learn. I mean, he's what? He's 31, going on 32. Canelo? Yeah, he's 31. I hate how people say so he's young. like over the hill. I'm like, motherfucker. No, he, for boxing, I, I heard that he is for boxing. Maybe no, he was like bo- in his 40s. Mo- yeah, most boxers go well into their 40s. He's 31. Like, it's because he's been fighting for already like, like 12 years professionally, 12, 13 years. And I mean, his biggest fight today probably was Mayweather, but he was 21. And Mayweather yeah. was smart because Mayweather fought him when he wasn't at his prime, but 
Yeah, he's he's just been doing I it. I think he's barely hitting his prime. Yeah. If we're being honest with each other. Because he just got his first loss a couple years back, and I think that's what he needed because he hadn't lost in so long since Mayweather. Yeah, he lost to Mayweather, then he didn't lose again, and then he lost that one. But even, like... Yeah. He lost to somebody bigger than him, though. And his, he, this last fight, the guy was bigger también, no? Taller, not bigger. He was taller, mm-hmm. yeah. Canelo's actually heavier. He, the other guy moved up in weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Canelo had fought somebody who had to drop weight, and that's the guy he lost to. But lately, he's been fighting people who are going up in weight. Yeah, he mentioned, like, that he was in the after, like, the post-interview. He mentioned he had to leave for, like, three months. He didn't see his family. He was just training. His work ethic is crazy. Yeah, I think all boxers, though, kind of go through that. Usually, when they go training. They- <laughs> Except Oscar De Loya. I just coax out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go box. See that Fuerex Tapa? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him at Conga before. Yeah, yeah we used to, he's he used to be all the, time. all the time. But that was después. Skin. That was after. No, this was him still fighting. Yeah? Like, yeah, it's just, he, just, he was a party animal. I've met him. He's pretty cool. But Canelo. <laughs> Cooler. I've never met Canelo, but I just think like his work ethic is, is crazy. I keep emphasizing on that because like, that's what's been on my head like lately after I had my depression hey low key me too episode like just work ethic has been like on like i just i feel like it's not enough to have talent you and sometimes i think nosotros somos like nosotros somos bien chingones ah, that we get away with doing the bare minimum because we're so good at it like yo a me throw anything my way i'll figure that shit out and i like pride myself in that but it comes to a point where it's like there has to be work ethic. Yeah. There has at some point you have to be disciplined. Y te tienes que echar ganas. And um, my son, you know, they always say like your kids are kind of like your mirror. So a lot of things you don't like, a lot of things that bother you, your kids will be the mirrors to that. And Isaac has been driving me insane with the work ethic, with like just the forgetfulness and just and. I get really upset, but lately I've just been having to take a step back and be like, the apple does not fall far from, from the-, the tree. Hello? Yes. Love you, bye. Can you please turn off the light? <laughs> the landlord called. The landlord called. He said, turn off the light from the outside. You turned it on, but... um. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, like it's just been like that. And it's changing your story. I heard that it, it's like a switch that needs to change in your head. And it's just changing your story. Like something as simple as me going to the gym. Like I dread going to the gym and I never go to the gym and I don't want to be there. And it's just I'm happy I'm able to go to the gym. I'm happy I'm able and I'm healthy enough to work out because there's people who are fucking bedridden and all they want to do is walk. All they want to. So I've been trying to change the story in my head, and I feel like it's kind of working a little bit. But anyway, I saw Canelo, and I was like, Whoa. "Like, that's awesome," you know? Max. So it's pretty fucking dope. Mm-hmm. Viva Mexico! What? Do you guys go for him because he's Mexican or because he's good? Because I like people used to give me shit. Because remember, uh, what's his name uh, Marquez? I was uh-huh. never a fan of Rafa his. Marquez. I was more of a fan of Pacquiao. I love Pacquiao. Yeah. And people always give me shit like, oh, you got it. I was like, let's take the Olympics, bro. Like, take the World Cup. I go for what I want. I don't think I'm like that big of a fan of of sports or things like that to be like, no, I like this person. Like, I like him. I think he's cool. And then I hear he's Mexican and I'm like, that's fucking even better. Like, Urias. Urias, I was like. <laughs> oh, I was like, you're still a fan? <laughs> no, Whoa. I'm saying. Urias, like, I'm, I'm not a big baseball fan, but then to see that he's good and then we made it to the playoffs and then he fucking was Mexican and he's waving the bandera. That made me proud. So then I became like a big fan of his because I'm like, oh, now I need to back him up. Now I need to support him. Um, me just adds to it. It adds, saying. yeah. You broke my heart, bro. You broke my heart. Oh, yeah, that, that, it kind of went away quietly. Not went mm-hmm. away. He just disappeared. They just erased them from That's fucking history. That's what I'm history. saying. They, when, when the news dropped, se hizo arguende, they were like, oh, talking about it. Quietly, the Dodgers, they just covered him up and moved on. And then everybody quietly moved on. There's just so much shit that happens every day 
that people see that I think it, that's what it is. That's a little scary, though. One day you can be on, on the top of the world mm-hmm. and like that. But that's just, that's life, though. That's, yeah. that, that's not new. That's always been like that. But you can lose it. Yeah. By your own means is what I mean. Like, le echaste tantas ganas, you, you, you overcame so many ob- obstacles, right? He had like a whole eye condition. He came from the mud, like just everything. And like that, you lost it. You fucked it up because there's no discipline. Yep. How do I say this without sounding like a dick? But it's kind of like on us, no, as a society, because you're so quick to, you're, the people are so quick to give him. This kid was 16, 17, 18 when he first hit the league. And it's like, you put up, he didn't know how to be an adult. And there was like no one, I feel like, I don't, and I don't know, I don't know personally, but I feel like there's no one guiding. And that happens to a lot of people in sports. Like, imagine going from nothing to a millionaire. And you just don't know how to act. And you're still a kid. Imagine you're 18. You told us that you didn't know how to act when you were 10. Now, imagine if you had millions of dollars to go with it. I mean, I still don't know how to act. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I'm not making an excuse for him, but I think as a society, we're quick to put people on such a high pedestal. And what sucks is that we want to see them fall even more. Not saying that someone pushed him to beat a woman up. No, but, like. No, I don't think. I think he earned his pedestal. And we put him where he earned it porque era un chingón and he made us proud. But just like that, he lost it. To me, it's like, okay, everybody moved on. That's fine. But I think to myself, if I was in that position and that happened to me, I don't know how I would, I I would fucking, me estaría dando patadas en el culo. You know what I mean? Like, how the, como fui? Like, how did this happen? Like, this was, it was in your control. Just have some self-control. Just avoid certain things. I, I was watching that documentary, um, this football player Aaron Hernandez or Henry Ruggs aside from Henry Aaron. Ruggs Aaron Hernandez uh, the Johnny Manziel it's about the DUI one Johnny Manziel. Oh, Johnny Manziel that guy like again you get too much too fast and you don't know how to act like one thing I'm not a huge NBA fan but one thing I love about them is that they make him go to and I think the NFL does it too now but the NBA you have to go to like a three week camp as a rookie and they teach you about financial responsibility about how to avoid Stuff like that, and like, uh, and I think baseball needs to step in and do that too, because like, yeah, because you just again you, and that's in anyone that like, you get money real fast. That's cr- like yeah, I wouldn't know how to act. I was eighteen and got five million dollars in my bank account like that overnight. I don't want to have I do it right now. Like yeah, even now, like I'm glad I'm getting my blessings at my age now, because ten years ago I wouldn't know how to act either. <laughs> I would have blew it. You know way I would have blew it. Yeah, I think like <laughs> it sounds fucked up or funny, but like. The reason I don't do drugs is because it's too fucking expensive. I have money like that. And now but, it's like, oh, but, I don't do it because I, I know the... But this isn't him spending money. This isn't him blowing his fucking become, cash. This is him beating someone, be- beating he, a woman. That, uh, I, that That's even deeper. But that's what I'm saying. Like, th- this isn't él se gastó todo su dinero en pendejadas. He got into drugs. He was always drinking. He but didn't you, make it a practice. Money gives you this sense of entitlement that I yeah. can get away with a lot of things. And he already got away with it once. So, of course, he's going to try to do it again. This is the second time this happens to him. Yeah. Like, and he's like, oh, I got away with it once. You kidding me? I'm untouchable. No, you're not, buddy. Damn. That must be tough. All right. Moving on. What else you want to talk about? Vinny actually gave me a Urias hat. And I was going to wear it. And I walked out of the house. I was actually wearing it yesterday, I think. And I walked out of the house and my husband called me back. He's like, did you see who's on the side of your hat? And I was like, who? And I checked because it's like the L.A. backwards. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't seen it. And I was like, oh, he's like, you're going to wear that woman beater? And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I guess I won't put my hat on. I have three of them. That are, <laughs> I love them and I can't wear them anymore. Yeah, that's. Uh, my sister had just, I think she had just gotten her Orias jersey. It's the Dodger, the white Dodger with the gold trim on it, mm-hmm. on the, around the, the Dodger blue. And I was like, damn. My dad says he's going to burn his jersey. He has a Urias jersey. Really? Yeah. He says he's going to burn it. In those cases, do you, I don't know. Remember, like with Kanye, he said some wild shit and just. Said, but like he never. <laughs> like saying something is different than acting on it. Like he would have acted on his. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I mean, even saying it like I—he's known to be bipolar too, so it's kind of like. I mean, 
I'm not saying that's the excuse, but sometimes, you know, you're not on your meds. And it's just, I don't know, man. I take it by case by case. <laughs> It's like, it depends. Like, depends. Like, like, how much do I like him? Yeah, like, yeah. Kanye's music got me through some things. Hey, the other day I was oh, so you know how I went to Olive Garden. I drove back home by myself, or actually Saturday I went to Olive Garden. Finally, yay! <laughs> Weekend roundup. Weekend roundup. Let me do the game. Um. Sure. After my weekend roundup. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Uh, but I just have to share this moment with you guys. I finally went to Olive Garden. I met my husband there. He had the kids with him. When we left, he took the kids in the bigger car and I was riding in my mom's little Honda. <laughs> and I'm driving down Azusa. Okay, I had just left Olive Garden in Puente Hills, uh -huh. which is a street I've driven down many times. And fucking Heartless comes on from Kanye. Damn. And I was driving, and I remember some of the most difficult moments of my life, driving in that same car, bumping that song, like, <gasps> like crying, and just Kanye was just that vibe. It was, you know, it was just, ah! and I was just driving, and I was like, I turned it up, which I don't do that anymore. I fucking turned it up. I put the windows down. Open the, you know, and just me, and, and just me drove all the way singing so loud. And it's just like a full circle moment for me. I was like, hmm, I see. It's, I'm one of those, I separate the art from the artist. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to, dog, again, Kanye, and then like, R. Kelly has some feel good music, y'all. <laughs> Step in the name of love. What I'm about Michael that. Jackson? Of course. <laughs> I listen to Michael Jackson too. I mean, I play him if I have to, but. Hey, don't get me started. I'll get controversial. Man. We'll be canceled <laughs> real quick. No, pieces. That People like it too much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> People like it too much. Actually, no, you know, I, I did want to say this. My grandma the other day was uh, laying down and randomly she was like, oh, me me gusta Juju. <laughs> 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 My mom uh, threw on the podcast for her. Hola. She said she loves Juju. Oh, so. your grandma. I'll throw that out there. Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, shout out to everybody who still has their grandparents around and take pictures with them, bro. Take pictures with them. If you can, record a conversation with them. Um, sometimes I hear videos and stuff or I see like my mom calls because my mom would call me sometimes and she would screen shoot like the FaceTime, like no me contestaste or whatever. Like I called you with your grandma. Since I'm like, fuck, I wish I would have answered those calls or I wish I would have recorded a conversation, something that she shared with me or whatever, just because your kids are never going to hear that or, you know, my kids or whatever. Yeah. Like you want to keep that. I know it's going to happen one day, but I wake up with every day. And the first thing I think about is my grandpa's voice because I do not want to forget it. I don't have recordings of his voice. There's a tape somewhere, either in my house or my grandpa's house, a tape of us singing and him speaking to me and i would kill somebody to find that tape oh, really yeah because that's i he never he was never we never really had video cameras around him like that how old were you when he passed uh what was it 2007 mm. i think i had like a like a little cheap flip phone yeah and like yeah like it's just so like and obviously we didn't do a lot of recordings back then he's not in he doesn't come out in a lot of videos a lot of pictures not a lot of videos he was a very like serious guy but then, like, he would goof around with me, and there's a we have a recording somewhere of us singing Sinos Dehan. Yeah. And him speaking, I need to find that tape. I mean, you should look for it. Been. <laughs> been looking for it. We, got, we don't throw away tapes on the off chance that I missed it. Yeah. So in my garage, there's, like, a box full of tapes. In my grandpa's garage, there's a box full of tapes that we're not going to throw away because I want to sit there and just, like, all right, Go we're going through, through them. every single one of them. What's your grandma's name also, Rosa? Yeah. Doña Rosa. Shout out to Doña Rosa. Your mom's like, great. Now I have to put it on for her. <laughs> <laughs> and no, but don't put it on from here on now because she's going to be like, wait, my name came up and y'all talk about death? <laughs> That's not cool. ¿Quién es este R. Kelly? <laughs> ¿Quién es Kanye West? A ver, Rosa, ponme la de Kanye. I feel like she knows him. A ver, ponme la de Kanye. Dude, my grandma watched so much TMZ. Yeah. A lot of TMZ. <laughs> Does your grandma That's speak awesome. English? She actually went to school. Uh, she tries to speak English. She understands it very well, actually. But uh, speak it. She tries. But she watched a lot of TMZ. Like, she knows What's your grandma's everybody. personality? 
uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like she's Is she's, she cool or is she like you? She's pretty outgoing. <laughs> Nobody's she's... like me first of all. <laughs> uh now she's very outgoing. She's she's kind of like the religious part of our family too. But she's very outgoing. She's very understanding. I mean, her daughters put her through a lot. So <laughs> what's your Shout out about the aggressive in my mom? <laughs> what's your favorite memory with your grandma? Damn. I have a lot. Most of it though was when I was younger. Because a lot of it was my parents were working and you know, me and my cousin B would always be at her house. So were you a bad kid to your yeah. grandmother? I was really her. bad. I was really bad. I just didn't listen a lot. Right. But That's being a bad kid, Vinny, to your grandmother. Like, I just didn't listen a lot and I set things on fire. <laughs> I, don't know, I think I was. No, cool. no, no, no. Actually, my cousin and my B grandma said would be like, "Ven para acá, Vincente." And he'd be like, "No, I wouldn't do that." You yeah, just would walk B. away. Did I'll she ever whip like you? I didn't listen. Uh, no. Oh. My parents. Did, I'm just kidding. Did your parents ever hit you? You know. <laughs> <laughs> what did your Not parents all the ever time. hit you? Absolutely, my dad would beat my ass, but never abusive. If that makes sense. I right. earned every beating I got. Right, right. right. I'm not um, saying que like llegaba like borracho y te pegaba. No, like, no, no, no I'm like saying that. did you? Did they hit you? My yeah. dad did clock me once, though. I. What'd you what? do? <sighs> So, cheese me, cheese me. <laughs> he, uh, I was thirteen. I was twelve, thirteen years oh, old. Oh, you deserved it. Stop there. And Stop was, there. You no, said enough. I forgot what I did, but I remember I like I, I said, probably said some shit. He like, cause my dad's a big dude. He's like six He's, three, right? He is. He's yeah. big. And when I was thirteen, he was what like thirty in his thirties. So he was still kind prime, of in his baby. prime. Like I said, got a little prime. <laughs> yeah, he was in his prime. And uh, he said something. I like backed away, kind of scared. And then when he turned around, I flipped him off. And he turned around and he saw me flipping him off. He said, what? And then he hit me. And then I never tested him again. Oh, kind I would like, always. I never learned my lesson. I did always beat me. I'm going to take about 30 year old. So when was the last? Like. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got decked in the chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not in the face. No. Oh, shit. It was smart. What was the last time? Do you remember what was the last time you got hit? I remember what was the last school. time I got hit. Like, maybe my... No, maybe my freshman year. But nothing like how he used to, like... He used to, like, spank us bad. Yeah, because you're a bad kid. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you and deserved it. Do you guys ever fake cry to make him stop? No. You know what I... <laughs> no, my dad would I laugh. threaten to hit me more if I cry. I yeah? laugh. Yeah. So I have this thing where I laugh when I'm nervous and it's not a, a made up thing. This is a oh, real, I do that too. this is a real thing. Like in my wedding, when we were saying our vows, I was laughing. Like <laughs> the joke nah. over here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Isaac one time and, and poor kid, cause I know it traumatized him. He had to get fillings and he was like four, like Mateo five. And we took him to the dentist and they put, um, like the the gas pa como kind of dormirlo but it didn't work so they tied him in that same thing they tied him he was tied and he was like falling asleep with the little thing so they can his muelas he woke up oh my god and he woke up in the middle of them and he's like mom help me mom help me and i'm like tears are falling down my face but i was cracking up like laughing like, aha, you know my laugh? Like that. But laughing. This is a real thing. That's like creepy. I, I laugh when I'm nervous. Sometimes Eugenio and I, my husband, if we're arguing or whatever, I laugh. I'm laughing. And so when my mom would beat my ass, I would laugh. And my mom <laughs> would beat me harder. She'd be like, oh, you think it's funny? And I'm like ah, laughing, but I couldn't even talk because I was just so like ah, laughing. And I'm like, no, stop, please. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't want. Oh, like she would beat my ass. So she likes Halloween. But it was, it was, it was, it's <laughs> crazy. Respectfully, dog, you're fucking weirdo, bro. <laughs> it's something I can't. I. It's my body. I feel uneasy right now. <laughs> like you're a real life Joker, like the Joaquin Phoenix one. You ever seen the Joaquin Phoenix Joker? <laughs> you wouldn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Oh, he just laughs, like bursts out laughing, like randomly. Like that. And he's getting zesty. He was laughing. Like that. That's me. And my mom, like, has, and my husband, it's taken him time to, I mean, we've been in therapy sessions. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm laughing. 
like in therapy. I'm cracking up. And my kid and my husband are just staring at me and the therapist is like <laughs> <laughs> straight jacket. <laughs> ASAP. It's just something I've had since I was little. Creepy. Yeah. No, I used to fake laugh. I'm fake laugh. Now I'm, I used to fake <laughs> cry. You too. Like it was like hitting me and like, oh my God. And it's like he'll stop, he'll feel bad. Yeah. I'm like, Thank God. Gracias, Dios. Gracias. And I think, I think it's probably like my freshman year where like he hit me and like nothing happened. So then he stopped. And eventually he, he hit me and like he hit a wall. And he just fucking like, <laughs> usually when he hits you, like you move and he hit me and it's just like nothing. And I was like, I was like, all right, I think I'm done. I think my I'm now. done. Yeah. But I would never raise my hand to my dad. Unless he like, it had to be something crazy. Like he's wailing on my mom or something. But he usually that, just never, slaps her around. I'll never know. Like <laughs> Damn. Because yeah, he said it. wailing, like, unless he's like going in hard. Because if it's just, no pasa nada. Nobody has that. Not my business. Maybe she deserved it. But, no. <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> Why are we Why like are this? Nervous laugh? Why are we like this? No, no, no. When I have my nervous laugh, you'll know. Like, you'll know. It's like a really serious situation. There's, we, you, we mess around over, like, Father like. Nurse, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that. Like. Right. Don't invite Melissa to my funerals. The funerals got it. <clears throat> yeah. It could be something like that. It can be someone looking at me straight in my eyes, which has happened. Telling me how they feel. Like, Melissa, you hurt me. Like, what you did was not, like. <laughs> and I start laugh. laughing. See, that's what and, I do. And I laugh. And you get mad at me. I make fun of situations. I don't laugh though. But I make fun of my my I guess my coping mechanism is laugh making people laugh. So I make jokes at funerals. I make jokes in like very serious situations. I do too. But in therapy you wouldn't. If your niece is like, help me, help me, she's like literally in distress, would you laugh? Like, help yourself. <laughs> 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 See? <laughs> Anyways. No, but like, I would save her, but literally right after I would make a joke. Yes, but you, but I had to walk out of the room. They had to take me out because I was laughing. I couldn't. And he, he still, if you tell him, he still remembers. Remember, you were laughing at me. That's why we go to therapy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. I told um, brother real demons come out. Yeah. See, I'm not even that bad. But um, it's a, I, I'm assuming it's like it should be a condition. I, it's not on purpose. I never want to purpose, especially my kids or my husband or my loved ones. You think I want to be in church saying my vows, fucking cracking up, like making fun of it, <laughs> for better or for worse? Ah! <laughs> like, do you have video of that? I do. I'm gonna need that. No. <laughs> People want to see proof. No. We talked about showing more videos to go with our story. There was a comment. Somebody said they want to see a picture. Of I don't dog. have videos of my dad oh, beating me, so we have to have videos of you laughing. Yeah, for sure. Um, What else did I do this weekend? I had Olive Garden. All that to say, we, I had Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> All that to say. No, let me look for my notes. Want to go wrote... see Fade on Thursday? We did, and I got so... Guys, I was secondhand smoke. Me puse bien medi- She was being lens. dramatic. I am telling you, laughing. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, I had to step away from the crowd because you know when you drink and you smoke. All right, fucking. Cruzas? It's legal. It's weed. Weed is legal. I know, you but te cruzas like you feel like like it's a lot. That's how I felt. I had to. <laughs> I had to move. I'm just. I'm not used to it anymore. I'm not used to drinking. I'm not used to doing that. It was kind of like a lot more. It was a bit of second hand smoke, but it was more like you know when you're in the crowd. Mm. People were just smoking, so you smell it. No, it was a lot. People were party, and then I had that's one fake. drink. It was this pretty one drink. stiff drink? Yep. Yeah. I yeah. just had one, and that's it. And she was like, "Oh, oh. um, I feel high. Like I can't. I don't know how I'm gonna get home. So I'm gonna just go all the way to the back." So she just left. Yeah, Not, like, I didn't sick. leave. I just went to the back. Pretty much all the way to the back. Like I enjoyed it from afar. But it was kind of, it's, I mean, it's a small venue, so it wasn't that yeah, far, but still. Good. I still enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, What else? Saturday, the kids had a basketball game. Jeremiah, my stepson, they actually asked him to play with, like, the, the bigger kids. So now he plays his league 
And right after, he goes to do another game with the bigger kids. Really? Yes. Because he hit that growth spurt. So good. He did. Um, He's bigger now? She showed a picture of him, and he looked tall. Yeah. Huh. He's like Isaac's height now. Hit a little growth spurt. It's and it's only going to go bigger because, I mean, you see his dad. I don't know. That kid's jeans. He's so athletic. I hit my dad's height, so. But your brothers did. Because you're mm-hmm. the oldest. Well, that's true. Your my brothers are your dad's height? Uh, the middle one is, the youngest one is slightly taller than me. Yeah, I'm the shortest. Like my brother, he's the shortest one, and when I'm tall, and my brother, my little brother's taller than me. Uh, I hope all my, my boys are tall. I hope all of them. Like, I'm not short. How tall was baby you know, daddy? But, nah, I don't do that. Baby daddy was like six three, six four. Oh shit! Okay, you have a, a type. Huh? Makes so you have a type. Tall and handsome. Oh no, not that oh, motherfucker! Oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> that's a nervous laugh. <laughs> he was handsome. I thought he was. He was tall, dark, and handsome. Absolutely. How else do you think he got me? Por millonario, que chingado. No, um, no, well, he was a growth spurt too. Then, yeah, because I'm, I, because I'm gonna, I'm pretty tall. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> what? How tall are you? I'm five 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 six. No, you're not tall. My sister's five eight. That's tall. I, I think five seven and up is tall. Uh, no. For a woman, yes. For Mexican. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. <yeah. laughs> but for Mexican, I'm tall. And five for Mexican, five. I'm a giant. Yes, we know no, that. <laughs> like it's. I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Have you ever been to, like, literally everyone's up to here? Yes. I've been to Mexico, and I love being there because yeah, I can see my brothers. So I'm considered, I'm pretty no, tall. Stop that. Stop that right now. Okay. Five, five. Get out of here, bro. Five, 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 six. Comment down below. Let us know if you think five, five. How tall are you? Most women on here are going to put their five, three, five, two. That doesn't Latinas. make you tall. It just makes you tall in the group. It just makes you <laughs> <Yeah>. tall. <laughs> but that makes me pretty tall. I'm above average. No. Yes, I am. You're average like five, six for a woman? I'm five, 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 six. <laughs> <laughs> What's some platforms? You're five, six? Yeah. No. Anyway, so yeah, my, Jeremiah, he's doing really good in basketball. Um, and I was actually really excited because, as you know, I've been really depre these last couple of weeks or months. And I, for a second, I was like, maybe we shouldn't do Halloween. Like, it's just not, I'm not feeling it. And um, my stepson was like, what are we dressing up for this year? Which is like a big deal to me because that's my thing. Yeah. You know, that's not his thing or his mom's or, you know, my husband's thing. That's specifically my thing. So for him to come and to ask me like, hey, what are we dressing up for this year? I was like, oh, I got, I have to. I can't let the people down. I have to dress up. It must be done. So with that said. Why are you grabbing that flag for, brother? What are we dressing up as? Swiss people. Is white face considered racist? <laughs> I'm not gonna touch any of that. Cause I know we all know how we all know how we feel about blackface, yeah. right? But if we were to do white face, is I that think I reverse think, racism a thing. I think yes, as long I don't I think, think it's so. reverse racism. Or unless you're being a mime. No, I want to or a clown like Dave Chappelle that white when he did that white guy. <laughs> is that considered like yo? That's out of pocket, dude. This ain't, this ain't 2000s, no. Man. <laughs> It, do you feel bad? Would you feel bad for a white person, though? No, but still. It's like, just... low-key, you guys do this for yourselves. <laughs> like, I someone don't... asked me one time, like, how could, how come you can have brown pride, but I can have white pride? I was like, yo, you guys fucked that up for yourselves. You, you can have pride. You wanted power. <laughs> 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 it's different. And then you know what you did. Yeah. Like, we go get drunk. <laughs> say, you know, Latino pride or whatever. Yeah. And you guys went and fucking... <sighs> I mean, not. I don't know what I'm gonna. How would do white face for like what character? But well, you did like, blue face. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that was fucking epic. I hate you so much for that. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. So still see that, tra- that traumatized me, and what? I didn't even do that. <laughs> That's not only that, it was the worst fucking thing ever. She hyped it up so much. 
We're gonna do your pants, and I got a makeup artist coming. And it fucking ended up being just her with some fucking Dollar Tree blue paint <laughs> that did not want to come off. <laughs> your mom's an angel for making me those pants, but goddamn, they did not fit. It. <laughs> and he didn't even enter the contest. <laughs> all that to that's the best the part. First of all, to no. be clear, we never enter Can the you contest. Please? Right here. I want the picture framed right here. How great they fucking look. And their eye fucking am like a fucking Cayajonas genie. God damn it. <laughs> this is real. This is me, guys. Only how much. Oh, stop. <laughs> and you I want me to dress up? No, listen. No. I can explain. I can explain. So we had planned it all out. This is why Juju is the MVP, the most valuable player I have. Okay. He is committed. <laughs> he is loyal. He is honest. He is loving. He is caring. You is caring. <laughs> the nice guy to take advantage of. That's yeah. who you are. No, I didn't take advantage of him. We executed. <laughs> the plan <laughs> as it was set he we kept it pushing because that's what we do we kept it fucking pushing so we had planned to be uh princess jasmine jafar and aladdin <laughs> <laughs> there's no fucking aladdin <laughs> princess jasmine motherfucking jafar and genie <laughs> i could have been aladdin throw a fucking vest oh my on God, it's getting hot in here Okay, and so that's true. And, <laughs> so anyway, that makes it worse. <laughs> you can't be a main character; you're gonna be a side character. <laughs> that's fucked up. The genie was a main character. No, because he, he's that good. Okay, because Robin Williams and Will right. Smith made it that he's way. He's the main character. Aladdin's the main character. It's I have and, named after him. Am I wrong? Aladdin's the main character. I know, I I know, but you still were a main character. Jasmine is in the movie's not named after her, and she's still a name a main character. Jafar is also. <laughs> you could have been the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> I would have rather been the parrot. Throw on a red Let shirt. me say my story. So we committed, we said we we're gonna do this. My mom made the costumes. However, she never saw Juju, right? So it was all based on here are a pair of my shorts make it which is always a no-no right you have to see the person so we really i really i will take full responsibility for that i thought she could make them like that which we know this year that's not how it goes we booked a makeup artist and this makeup artist let me tell you something she's never let me down she's a great person whatever and that fucking day me falló that day she couldn't make it she she didn't show up. And I had to paint Juju by myself. And that's how you got. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just looked the owl. Or I could have just been like when the genie, Will Smith just is his Normal? regular skin tone. That wouldn't have made for good pictures, though. The pictures look fucking good. for a good. picture. They look so good. They and the don't. memory. Like, you guys look good. And the memory. Ding. Again, right here. I want the picture <laughs> right there. You let me know how you think I look. And be honest. Great. Don't defend Amazing. her. Oh, my God. Dude. Amazing. It be looked so good, right? It looked so good. It. it looked great. So this year, what are we dressing up as? What am I painting you as? I don't know. What do you guys want to be? I'm, I'm laid down. He laid down. He laid down the gauntlet for you, bro. He laid down the, the parameters of him dressing up. You have to do a haunted house. No. Mazes. Or we go watch a movie. Not that movie. Choose. Yeah. But a movie. That movie. That one? No, that fucking popped out. <laughs> You're a fucking The world's demon. greatest. Or a maze. Ad? Should Vinny dress up? Comment Stop. down below. No, Should Melissa do a maze? Comment down below. Like, you can't. Look. No, is that really like are, is that what you want to do because i'll do it if it means that you're gonna dress up but don't fucking turn around and be like never mind i changed shake my on mind right now on this show shake like, if you i go like, to like the... halloween and i like scary shit this is the, thing. the whole point of halloween scary shit lowers my vibration it's halloween no you don't understand halloween I, do to get scared. I don't know like if people go right. through this or is this just a me thing but i have a lot of anxiety and so when i watch certain things 
it gets high. Like it, it doesn't physically, I don't feel good. Like I don't watch sports for that reason. I don't like watching fights. The Canelo one, I watched it like for a little while because I just get a lot of anxiety. I can't watch a football game. I can't watch a movie without Googling the ending because it just the suspense. What was I watching the other day? The mummy? Yes. I had to Google it and text you guys and figure out because just the fact that the homie popped up out of nowhere, that threw me off. Anyway. But so you're it's saying Halloween. if he dresses, you do a mix. Yes. Do you agree to that? No. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. I just don't want to dress up. Why? What happened? What is the pinchy trauma just... away? Nothing. What happened? When was the last time you dressed up? Uh, you had I, a girlfriend, didn't you? No. I bet. Mm-hmm. No, I had a what breathalyzer. What happened? Talk to us. I used to be a breathalyzer. The blow here, in the bottom. <laughs> I was in a frat. I did all kinds of shit, but just it's whatever to me now. It's not. I don't know. It's not I don't about you. To. This is. This is. I, I don't know. Like if I had children, I get it. Like you have children. We are children. We have a podcast. Where we're all going to participate and have... Actually, let me pull out the calendar. You know what? Maybe this conversation is not even worth it. Let me just pull up the calendar. Why? What are you trying to check? The date. There's a third. You have the 28th. The 26th. So you're telling me that you don't want to get dressed up on the 26th for our episode. Five days before? Like, it's not even Halloween. When you get booked, you just go dress regular? Regular? Say something to yeah. him, Juju. Sometimes I, I go with the, the run DMC thing. Bucket hat and glasses, you know, like just basic. I, no, I was going to say, we could be run DMC, but then my mind just went dark and. <laughs> Damn, man, you guys are ridiculous. Ooh, you guys? Yeah, that was mean. You guys thought that. Wow. Why would you guys think that about run DMC like that? The Bucket hat and glasses. Confused. Guys, I guess. So then, a la mierda, everything. No, no, like, you, you could dress up. You would, no, you because be great. I'll take great pictures. Are you serious? How am I gonna come and shoot a podcast dressed up while you're sitting there regular? It's called team spirit. He does have a point there. It doesn't make sense. So you're gonna ruin my favorite holiday por I'll tus huevos. Player. Por tus huevos, you're gonna ruin my favorite holiday. If you told me that your favorite holiday was the fucking Fourth of July. I'd go buy fireworks for you. I'd put on Katy Perry. We've been the last Baby, two years. Baby, you're a firework. You were off of work, and then you never celebrate your birthday that way. But we do go out, right? Mm-hmm. Agreed with me. Oh, shit. <laughs> you just agree with me? This is why I don't agree with you. Wave the flag. <laughs> I'm just saying, everybody comment down below. Just know I'll that I'm really excited player. for Halloween. Everybody knows this is my holiday, and it's Vinny is single handedly breaking my heart. He broke my heart today because he didn't want to. What do you mean? You celebrate. have the work friends to dress up with, and then you have at home to dress up and with. And then I have my podcast. I have three, I have four different things. I have my family, I have my show on the radio, I have the podcast, and then I have my kids' school event. Three out of four is perfect. Still passing. I usually do four out of four, but you're right, Vinny. Whatever you say. Three out of four works. You're you're right. Whatever you say. Okay. How was your weekend? <laughs> We're still on that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a strip club on Thursday. How was that? I saw women beat each other. Games and games is dope. Are you guys doing that weekly now? No, it's every. It's the first, the second, and last Thursday. Um, are you I, getting booked for that or are you just showing up I'm trying to wrangle my way to get booked for Halloween there and he's I'll cool do, with me I'll and dress like, up for that and like uh, so we're trying to see if we could book me Teddy Medic and this cool girl named Sammy Joe the Fox who does it with Teddy and try to get us all booked there so um, pay my dues you know that's fine and I mean I always go support Teddy even though he doesn't support us I learned this thing <laughs> Yo, I'm doing this thing now I'm not I, talking I'm gonna talk about shit. him anymore. I'm going to talk shit about certain friends to see if they see it or not. Like Medic, he called me out about the, the him be, be Una Oh, he did. No. Yeah. He called what me out he about say? it. Yeah, what he's he like, dick. He's like, you're supposed to tell nobody like that. He's like, he's like, I wasn't that drunk. I was like, yeah, you were. He's like, yeah, I was. <laughs> and so, but like, he saw it. He saw the show. So, and then like, so now Teddy is your turn. Um, well, she did it last time too. She said the same thing. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. No, I had to cut the clip and I sent it to him. 
I he's still, <laughs> still. Why you didn't see it? I said, you know what? Um, so today we text because Nor, a friend that we have, she actually texted. She's having a party, and he said, "Oh, I actually just got booked for that night." And I was like, "Well, I was booked too, but I canceled it to go to the party," you know. <laughs> and then he's like. Um, Nor said something like, yeah, I would cancel it for you guys too. You know, trying to make them feel bad. And this motherfucker pulled the, well, you guys have a full-time job, so you guys can do that. <laughs> I was like, hey, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play this game. So, you know, we were texting back and forth, but Teddy changed. <laughs> yeah. The old Teddy would have kept going talking shit, you know, but I guess, you know, whatever. That's why he doesn't watch our podcast because we talk too much shit here. Well, he wouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, time to so watch. So this is me, Teddy, calling you out. If you see this, hit me up. Actually, Text me. I don't mind people yeah, not watching. Like I, I don't mind, but I kind of get weird on the topic when <laughs> people watch. Like if my sisters watch or my sister not watches. I don't like it. She watches, but then she's like, I, "There's, she's like, there's a point in every show where she has to turn it off because the kids are with her." Hi, Lily. <laughs> Allison, turn it off now. <laughs> <laughs> we did put 18 and over, so. We yeah. have a warning at the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would prefer people not to watch. Like, my dad doesn't listen. Your ship goes down. <laughs> no, my, like, my family. Sorry. Like, my family. My mom, I don't like her listening to me on the radio. My husband doesn't listen to me either on air. My dad. I, I like the support. I don't. It doesn't bother me. Makes me. Except when I did watch things, then they're like, you did that, you son of a... <laughs> but see, that's why I can't, because you change a little bit. Like, if I know someone's listening, I get really, like, not as loose. But it's Teddy. Pinchita, watch it. What's good? No, he's not watching. Don't worry about him. I'm not worried about him. But I'm just saying. Who's the one person you would least want to watch this show? My dad. Or my kids. You gotta pick one. My kids. Yeah, my kid, uh, Isaac was telling me that some kid at school said that his mom dresses like a hooker. His me. mom or his mom being you? Me. Where's the cap, though? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have comebacks for that. I mean, you got to teach that kid I'll come back, bro. Well, he, he hit him. Not that kind of. That's, that's just being aggressive. He laughed and, at yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. Yeah. Hey, listen. People, words hurt way more than fists. I promise you. And um, he said, I said, that's what I said. I said, why did you hit him? He goes, well, he was, it was either that or tell him, what's your mom wearing? But his mom passed away two years ago from COVID. Oh, I would have gone in. I would have been like, word, dog? <laughs> At least my mom can dress. <laughs> it's going to be hard for him. Uh -huh. But I think it's like that hot mom, like the hot mom effect. Not that I'm like. You know, but I do remember Who growing had up. Melissa making it about herself twenty minutes into the. <laughs> no, I had the a friend. <laughs> I had a friend. Her name was Chelsea. Was she still a good friend of mine? And Chelsea's mom. Chelsea got it going mom on. Has got, got it going, going on. on. And now, if you do the math, she was about thirty years old, thirty-three. Why well, I mean, you see this? The mom? Are you the hot mom? I just said that, and you said I made it about me. I'm telling you, yes, I am the young hot mom. So I didn't say young. Yeah. To be clear. No, well, I'm 33. As to where all these kids, the moms are older, like 40. I, mean, I yeah, dealt with that when I was in high school, though. You, d you did? Yeah, I was 16. My mom was 31, 32. <laughs> my mom was 17. <laughs> but my, so my coach is, damn, that's your mom? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really like, be careful. <laughs> no, no one ever saw My mom worked my whole Kind of learned to ignore it after a while. Yeah. You'll be used to it. Ignore it or learn how to come back better. Bro. But then it, his mom's dead. Dog. You couldn't have <laughs> one joke? One joke, my Juju, dude? you don't make fun of She's dead She's dressed people. for life. No one. Listen, I have a rule. You can make fun of me all you want. You cannot make fun of any other of my family members. Once that, the gloves are off. I will pick at any single thing to make you feel the absolute worst. If you I, make fun of my family. Actually, I did tell him that. I said, Isaac, you hit him? Yeah. Isaac said he like slapped him in the face. When he yeah. said that, he said he went in his mouth and the kid's just like what the fuck he's just like talk shit about my mom you're gonna fucking get hit but anyway that's the situation right now with Isaac he doesn't want me going to his school events cause his mom dresses like a whore little whore 
Pork? Where that polka dot? Yeah, no, you were there. That ain't no one good. Gonna, ain't no one gonna take a second glance at Dude, you. Dude, I don't. You guys think I dress up like this? I don't. I don't show up like this. Why'd you do that for? <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't show up like this. I'm wearing a regular t-shirt, jeans. I don't think it's that. Obviously, these kids have access to the internet. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not shaming you because you are a beautiful woman. And you gotta, you should be able to express yourself the way you want. But you also have to understand when you dress in a bikini, shit like that can happen with kids. Because kids are kids. Kids are assholes. All kids. This isn't just like, oh, not, not my kid. No. Your yeah. kid could be an asshole too. I'm pretty sure he can be. Yeah. But it's just, that's just kids are gonna be kids. So you just gotta either learn how to take it and give it back or fucking just start molly whopping kids. <laughs> so <laughs> should I stop dressing no. the way I dress? So my kid won't get in trouble. I think you just have to let your son know, like, hey, look, I yes, I'm your mom, but at the end of the day, I'm still a woman. I still want to express myself the way I feel I need to express myself. Like, I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm not doing this to do anything. This is just for me. This is what I want to post. To yeah. Make me feel good or just for any reason. I because I can. Yeah, the other day I walked in and he looked at me and he goes, Mom, I can see you're you're not wearing a bra. Like, well, son, sometimes you got to free the nipple. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, I have them. So do you. Do and you think, walk around with a bra? Do you walk around? Like, I don't want to wear a bra and I don't have to. That's just, and that's also, I think, like where we live too. And I'm like, you need to normalize. Like, you're going to see a girl. Let's just say you see a girl naked or you see a girl not wearing a bra or you see a girl with short shorts. You're going to be like, oh, I can see your ass. It's her body. It's 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 ass. It's tits. It's it, it's It's a body. So just... Be comfortable around, like, oh shit, okay, I could see. I don't know. Yeah, or is that no, me being too liberal? Is that me being too like? No, I think it's just him and his friends being that conservative. You remember, it's still a private school, dog. So like these kids. No, no, I didn't go to school like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, um, like when they, imagine again, I show up. No, like, in again, school? your Instagram's not private, fam. Like they could right. see your Instagram. So like, I'm pretty sure the parents are talking shit and like, oh my god, would you dress like that? I wouldn't say yeah. Fucking mom, because you can't. You fat whore. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make a disclaimer, guys. I don't say things to be mean. I say things because they're funny. It's never to be mean. Let's play a game. Vin, how was your weekend? What did you do? Just do the game. No, Vinny's actually been very productive all Can weekend. Actually, we're not doing the game. Get that part out. Why? Because we need to talk about. So right now we just went on Instagram live and people requested a couple of things, right? Uh, the dog. Where's my dog? He's still there. However, they wanted to know about Juju's dogs. <sighs> no, they're still there. Um, they quieted down a little bit, but I'm sure my dad still wants to get rid of them. But they're in recovery from getting their balls chopped off. They still got. Today's been a week, so they have at least six to six to seven more days no sorry three to seven more days they say 10 between 10 and 14 days until they're fully healed and then you're gonna get rid of them we don't know yet but i'm sure that's his goal he might change his mind i don't think he will all right melissa well i guess god punishes in many ways that's what i get for making fun of someone's mom Remind me that my dogs are going to be leaving me. No, people wanted to know what the status of no, that was. Yeah, yeah, they're going to, they're supposed to, the good thing is uh, my brother's boss is interested in keeping the dogs, which will be dope. She's like, you guys can visit whenever you want. I never met her before, but I'm assuming she's going to let us visit whenever I want because they're my fucking dogs. But she's asking her husband right now if they, like, if they can keep them. Yeah. Because they can't be separated. I think, um, I do admit messing up, you shouldn't have two puppies together because they, uh, develop anxiety they did, yeah they get they get separation and anxiety so they can't be separated for more than like a minute like literally like we, i can't take one to the front yard keep one in the back because one in the back will start going crazy and start like ripping shit up to get his dog back to get his brother back really so yeah they're a package deal for sure and if you can't handle that please don't ask for my dogs <laughs> and you met shoddy bay <laughs> yeah I everybody was bae. so excited that they saw this picture you know, it's crazy how popping she is, like, and honestly, uh, I took a picture with her because all my cousins are kind of fans of her, so I was like, oh, just take a picture with her, and I had no idea that everybody who was DMing me after I posted it, that they were so excited about that, over me actually being at the event. But how was the event? 
It was dope. Uh, so Meta, it's Meta and Threads. Well, Meta owns Threads and Instagram. I don't know, but they invited me to an event. Um, and it was a bunch of creators, which are stupid popping creators. Uh, I felt weird being there because it's kind of like that whole uh, what's that thing called? Um, imposter syndrome. Mm-hmm. Mm. Except, I mean, my following is nowhere near these people, but I, that I was feeling that the whole time. But everyone made me feel comfortable, so it was cool. It was, it was. Uh, that's a good look on you, though, because usually Meta won't look at someone like, like, oh yeah, your followers are up that, but like the fact that you mingle and you're earning like that without having the followers. That's a true... yeah. No, I was surprised because I they send out like this RSVP and this group of like eight hundred people, and I was the one one of the ones who RSVP'd, and they gave me a confirmation, so. You know, shout out to whoever picked me. Whoever um, approved. Whoever approved. Uh, but it was cool. It was it was dope. Uh, I did say it was very influential. Uh, I think everyone has their own niche. And also, a lot of people are still in that whole, like, they don't know what they're doing. They're just doing. You know, in terms of, like, creating, like, they don't know where they're going with it. So I think that was helpful for me because I felt like maybe I'm not alone in terms of, like, where I'm going with what I'm doing. But, yeah. And then... I saw Shoddy Bay very random, and I'm like, I gotta get a picture with her. And you asked her, can I? I get asked a her. She was very nice about it. Actually, she was talking to. Some, I felt bad because when I asked her, I didn't know she was talking to somebody. And then even after the conversation, she still came back and was like, "Yeah, let's do it." All right, cool. I thought it was gonna be like she was gonna shine me off, but when was the last time you asked someone for a picture? Oh, and I'm asking that because since we're in the industry, sometimes it does get a little like. Yeah, because I mean, for pictures like we don't really. Hey, like, can we take a picture? Usually, because we're in the industry, someone will come up and say, "Let me take a picture of you guys." Like, yeah. if I'm talking to Becky G or I'm talking to someone, I interview someone. They'll come up and be like, "Oh, let's take a picture of you guys." Yeah, and we pose for the picture. But for us to go up to someone and say, "Can we take a picture?" It's a little like, ah. Oh. I mean, yeah, because so there, there yeah. were so many creators who that I wanted to take pictures with. Yeah. But her, I had to make the exception. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Shoddy Bay. The last one was O3 Greedo. Huh. Uh, yeah. Oh, at the Power No. 16. Yeah. And then uh, Too Short. And then, like, yeah, I had a chance. I could have took a picture with Ice Cube, but I left early. I, I forgot part of my week. I, I did the K Day 40th anniversary show. With, it was Ice Cube, Ja Rule, and Asante. And usually Ice Cube doesn't do no press. He won't do nothing. And then, but somehow like, oh yeah, he's going to do it. And like, but we were waiting and then shout out George, uh, our, cam- our camera guy from the station. He's like, dog, nah, like we even packed everything up. He's like, I'm just going to chill. He, he was a trooper. He chilled just so they could tell him no. But they ended up telling him yes. Oh. So he got a dope pic with Ice Cube. And I was like, damn, I left it. Cause I, cause I, I was like uh, 99% sure that he wasn't going to do the picture. Right. Because no, like Ashanti, Ja Rule, no one wanted to do no press, no pictures, no nothing. And then, yeah, he ended up doing it. And I was like, damn it. That's dope. So then, like, the, the recap, you see, like, CC, be nice. And then George took a picture with Ice Cube, too. And I was like, oh, that's me. awesome. And yeah, I, it's because I, I don't get starstruck like that to be like, oh, let's take a picture. Like, well, you've been in the industry. Or not for starstruck, a but like excited. Because sometimes you do see some people yeah. and you're like, oh, I got to get a picture with this yeah. person. It's just for real, it's more like proof. <laughs> yeah. That and, yeah, because there's people that, um, so I've, I've been in the industry for 10 years and, even when I first hired in, I was always an artist runner. So I'm the one that grabs the artist or takes them to the dressing room. So J. Cole, Rick Ross, Kanye, the Kardashians, like I've walked them all, but I've never, because I don't ask for pictures. So I think they think I'm a professional. So like, all right, cool. You can keep doing it. Yeah. But I don't have proof of any of that. I could just say that I did it. And if you believe me, you believe me. If you don't, you don't. But like Kanye, I remember one time Kanye out, because again, artist, art, I separated. This is before Kanye went crazy like that. I am a huge Kanye fan. He's one of my favorite artists. So I was like hyped. Everyone was like, no, no, no. Julian's going to walk Kanye to his room, to, his, to the dressing room, and to the stage. No one's going to touch him. And I was excited. I was like, oh, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. No, no, no. Like, moving people out of the way because everyone's going to take a picture. And then he hit me on the shoulder. He's like, no, no, hey, big dog, big dog. You don't got to do all that, bro. Don't worry about it. Like, come on, let's just walk. And I was like, he's like, how you doing? I was like, starstruck. That's the only time, like, one of the few times I've been starstruck. <sighs> El Kanye. Well, at least he talked to you. Yeah, I got super starstruck when uh, I was doing um, Ben Ben Murray. Ben Murray, it's like a production company. Ben Murray, they used to do the Kardashians and the E Network. I used to do stuff for them, 
and um, I was recording my show and they walked in and they said, can we borrow this uh, rack because Kim Kardashian is in the building and she needs to borrow the clothes rack. And I was like, take it, take it, take <laughs> it, absolutely. I was like, oh my God, I, if I meet her, I'll die. <laughs> and I didn't even see her. I just, the simple fact that she borrowed my clothes rack made my day. Biggest regret. The only regret I have of not asking someone for a picture and he was super nice and he would have done it, Jackie Chan. Mm. He was in the building, Jackie Chan. And this is, I think, before Rush Hour. This is a while, like before Rush Hour 3, maybe? And they were talking about that. I think it was when he announced that they're going to do a Rush Hour 3. And he was in the building and he, like, he was just taking pictures, walking around saying hi to everybody. And how come you did it? I don't know. I think I was just too, like, in the moment that I was like, nah. Yeah, because sometimes te da pena. Sometimes you're like, ay, no, como les voy a, you know? Como les voy a pedir foto. Today, somebody came up to me at Ikea. And she was like, oh, I have a company. And, you know, I would love for you to stop by. So I really like that she came up to me because I know how hard it is. Like, sometimes you see people yeah. and you don't, don't want to go fucking talk to them. Or it takes courage. So maybe that's why you did it. How else was the event? That is that the only one you went? We went to Faith. Uh yeah, fade on Thursday with Amazon, and then Friday was I don't think I did anything Friday. Saturday I DJed, Sunday I DJed, and then Monday yesterday was the Meta and Threads event. The cool thing though is in between all these events, I've just been connecting with a lot of people, so there's gonna be a lot more events to come, which is exciting. What's one thing that you learned from the Meta thing, or one takeaway? Actually, I took a lot from it. But a lot of it, honestly, though, it's just not being afraid to get out of my box. Because I say I don't want to be in the box, but now it's like, okay, now I have to do it. Yeah. You know, because I mean, at least for me, it's always like the the one question they kept asking me is like, so what do you what do you create? And that problems. (laughs) (laughs) And I don't want to say just DJing, you know, but I, I do know I do know I do a lot more than that. But for me to actually like, where's my proof of it, though? You know, what other than, mean? I mean, we like, have a whole podcast. I mean, I know, like, the podcast and, you know, the whole DJing thing, but, like, other than that, I feel like I didn't have much to offer compared to a lot of these people who do a lot of creations for a living. I was just, I was doing that thing where I'm comparing, but a lot of them did tell me, like, it's, no, everyone has their own lane, lane and their own niche. And, well, it, it, when next it comes time to you, it's they come ask, to you. but next time they ask, I think you think that it's like an end goal, but it's like you're already doing it. What kind of content do you create? I'm a producer for a podcast. You know, you are. You're a producer for the podcast. You're on air. You're a DJ, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, for me, it was like I said, I see everyone who's doing so much and so many different things, and I feel like I'm not there yet. Right. And that's where the imposter syndrome was hitting, too. Like, you put me in a room of DJs, I'm fucking. I know I belong there. Yeah. But in a whole creator world, that's a whole nother ball game. So what kind of content do you guys want to see Vinny create? <laughs> what do you want him? What do you want to see? Comment down below. Let us know. Because uh, I think it'll be cool to get everyone's input. Like, what do they want to see Vinny Mac do? Because they yeah. see this side of us where we're chilling, we're talking on air. They can hear you DJ, but. What else do they want to yeah. see you? I mean, I tried that one unboxing video. Mucharro. Who's the real Vinny Mac? Mucharro. They're like, we want to see him. We don't want to. We don't want to know Vinny Mac. We want to know Vince. Mm-hmm. Junior, Junior. Junior, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was, yeah, it was a cool event. But I think overall, the whole weekend was very productive. Productive. Very productive. Yeah. You said you uh, had hey. been thinking about work ethic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? No, like kind of like the same thing. It's like, damn, like I'm, like you said, like we're good now. Imagine if we put some effort into it. Yeah, I mean that's where I'm at right now. I think in the last month, I've caught myself going out every other day to something, and from there, so much more has came out of it. Yeah, I was in a bubble for a whole year. Yeah, I can admit to that. The, going to the Independence Day thing, I was like, oh shit, I got oh, yeah, go the Grito cause... thing, like. Even if, like I, I, my thing is like, oh well, how does it benefit me? And sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it does. Like you don't know who you're gonna meet in that one. Like I got invited to do a TDE thing, uh, for was it J Rock was dropping? Someone was dropping an album from TDE, and Brian's like, dude, I put you on the list. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I was like, nah, like I ended up not going. 
And like I made some stupid excuse or like I just like no I can't go and maybe it wasn't a stupid it was a legit excuse but I just chose not to go didn't prioritize it was it. easy for me to say no to that right you know so and but then I was like and you don't know who you can meet they're like, mm-hmm. like you just never know like who's in touch like oh actually I know this person and it's just like but I, even even not meeting people it's getting out of your comfort zone like I realize you know this event that I went to last time. Even today that I went to the gym, I'm telling you, I didn't want to go to the gym and I took a class. So for me to walk in there and I was like, well, I don't have a mat. Oh, well, I don't have this. Oh, like my brain was telling me why I should not walk in the class. It's a free class. I'm in the gym anyway. Like, why can't I be in there? It's just out of my comfort zone. I'm not used to that. I'm not going to the faith event. That was out of my comfort zone. There's so many things. And it's like just getting out of your routine out of your comfort zone, usually you get off of work and you go straight home and it's easier for you to say no. You should have gone. Yeah. You should have gone to this event. Maybe you're not going to meet anyone. Maybe you're going to spend money. Maybe. But you're going to get out of your comfort zone and that enough should be a reason to do it. Yeah. Which I do want to congratulate you for going to the fate event. Thank you. Because <laughs> I, like I mean, what I'm supposed wait, to be doing. Stop everything. You guys need to tell me something about the shoes. You know, Juju, you'll get it when I when we explain it to you. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh shit. So exhausted. All right. So <laughs> we'll make this the last story. Then, yeah, make it it's, quick, a, it's a great story. Wait, he's he was gonna he was gonna fucking give me my flowers. Oh, no, no, I'm gonna give you your flowers. <laughs> and and you? No, what? Well, I, but I mean, it is a part of the story, though. Yeah. Because so here's the thing: I signed up. I've I signed up for a lot of events. A lot of people think I go because I get invited. Uh, honestly, a lot of the, these events that I go to, I'm a fan of music and I'm a fan of artists. So I sign up, I'll pay the tickets. Like I just like to be there cause I like the culture. And so since last year I've signed up for all these Amazon events and this year was no different. And I saw fade was going to be at one and I jumped on it. Even the Ed Sheeran, same thing. I signed up. And so I'm a GA, I'm going as general admission and day of i'm finding out a lot of my friends and even like my coworkers are going as like vip they're getting invited and i mean for me like i've learned to put my ego aside in a lot of these things because for me it's like it's not my time yet i'm still new and i get it. people are getting to know me so for me it's like that but i know with melissa it's kind of one of those like she's usually the one invited she wasn't invited this time around then i but- was okay with that no, I no, didn't want to go. No, she, <laughs> but when I brought up that I'm going to this fade event, she was like, "Yeah, I'm down to go." But I told her there's a catch. It's GA. No, and usually, but that's usually, that's not how it happened. No, no, but usually, I I know that you kind of like said, "Let me be your plus one," because you gave me a whole fucking like. You got to be out more. That's what I told her. Me regañó. He yes. was like, "What are you doing? You gotta, you have to be out there. You're, you know, blah blah blah." You gotta show and face, be more accessible. I've been a bit, obviously you know? in La Depre. I haven't really been networking. I haven't been out and um in our field of work, line of work. Um, it's very important to be out, to be posting, show to be face showing and, face, yeah. to be interacting with people in in our industry, right? Yeah. And so he's like, "¿Qué estás haciendo, güey? O sea, levántate." So after he gives me that whole sermon, he tells me that he's going to go to the faith event. So yeah. I said, do you have a plus one? He's like, no. I said, okay, yo voy contigo. But resulta <laughs> que he, he... I paid for tickets. Paid and for I had tickets. Actually, she thought it was, a, you know, whatever. But when I told her it was GA, I for I don't know why, but I know why. I thought she was going to say no. Like, oh, I'm good. But to you know be what? clear, I have no issue with general admission. I have no problem with going to a concert and paying for events or whatever. Yeah, I have just been going through my depre and my issues where I've realized that I have put a lot of emphasis in my life, not even just in my career, in my life on material things. To me, happiness has become a, a ma- like a goal. If I have certain amount, I have two properties. Okay, I need four. That sounds wild to say it out loud, right? Pero tener dos casas no es suficiente. Yo quiero tener cuatro. Eh, tengo un business, no es suficiente. Quiero tener tres. Um, tengo mi carro, tengo la troca, tengo esto. No es suficiente. Quiero tener otros cuatro carros. Like, that's just the way I've been living. Um, I make X amount of money. It's not enough. I need more. I need more. And We're in GA. God, I want VIP. <laughs> God has humbled me 
crazy this year. Gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. God has, and and it's crazy because we've seen the process, right? Yeah. That I'm like asking God for things and he's giving me things. And my tia told me, I don't know if you guys remember on an episode that my tia was like, well, God's giving them to you in that way. And you're manifesting, your manifesting isn't working because God's telling you to be in the moment. Like you're not, you're not appreciating. You're not focusing on what you have. And then slowly I went from having three cars to having one car. I went to being po- like just different scenarios. Um, anyway, all that to say that when Vinny said, I'm going to go, but you're not going to be VIP. If you know me, if I'm not VIP, if I don't mm-hmm. have a bottle, if I'm not walking in through the side door, if I'm not like, I'm not going. Yeah, I was ready for her to say no, but she said yes. And we walked a lot. <laughs> The garage wasn't close. I mean, it's kind of close-ish, but, you know, she walked more than she thought and yeah. kicked it outside with us common folk. <laughs> but And a lot of people that I know were like, oh, well, we're going to VIP and they go to VIP. And for me to be standing there, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? I know it sounds a little crazy. I don't want to sound spoiled, but I've worked really hard. Yeah. Right. And I am very privileged at working in the radio station I've gotten these privileges and I've gotten this treatment where that's just what I'm used to. I don't go to clubs unless I'm getting paid and unless I have a, bu- do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's certain, well, like you've, there's a certain you paid, vibe. You paid your dues. And so for it. me to be in this situation, granted, I went and I had a great time. I hung out with Vinny. Uh, we had some drinks. I met a couple people. Me la pasé bien. And I think that that's just the lessons that I'm learning. I, they had to networking. They had to meeting people. They had to like just me getting back to basics is what I think is going on for me right now. I haven't bought a new car. I'm just going back to basics. This is this is me. If you see me in the street, you see me getting into my mom's little hondita. Mind your business. If you see my nails, they're press ons. They're I'm really just toning it the fuck down um, because I just I. I need to feel happy. It wasn't enough for me, guys. It's estaba like, like quería más y más y más y más, and it wasn't enough. Um, and so I think Diosito just that's why all that happened. But we went. It was fun, and it was a great turnout too. It was because, good. We had fun. You know, it was a great turnout. We got you know good videos too. And where the shoe story <laughs> comes in is shout out to Vane, um, aka I don't know if she still goes by Radio High now, but uh, shout out to Vane. Yeah. Um, she introduced us to Ida, mm-hmm. and Ida was uh, I I forget what she does. I know she works with Amazon. She's working with the event, so she's very important person. And she's one of those people that they're like, "Oh, I want you to meet," and yeah. then they introduce you to and someone. like everyone knew who she was. So for her to even like acknowledge us and talk to us was That's I mean cool. cool in itself. She even got his pictures on Amazon. Uh, in front of the Amazon thing, and they're through Getty Images, which I guess is a flex, big flex, right? Yeah, look us up. I'll just, I'll post them <laughs> with the Getty thing and everything. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and you want to carry on? So this is who the story is about, the shoe story. So, uh, this girl they introduce us to, uh, they introduce us to her, and you know I'm a very charismatic person, so I'm like, hey, what's up? And we're talking, and yo, oh, cómo estás? Yo soy Melissa. This is Vinny. I'm on the radio. Es de oh, Yo trabajo aquí. Sí, los vamos a invitar. We're gonna invite you guys to more events. Uh, because I told her it was my first time. I had never been. Everything was fine, and my feet were killing me. I was wearing high heels. Um, and I made a whole video on that. So my feet were killing me. And if you're on TikTok, you know that there's a whole discussion about girls wearing dirty ass Air Force. Like there's the 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 Gen Zs que salen with dirty ass Air Force. Entonces, I'm start talking and I tell her, me duelen los pies. Uh, I can't believe I came in heels. She's like, I know I wear sneakers for the same reason. That's it. She goes her way. We shake hands. We make friends. We exchange info. He goes that way. We're like, oh, great. We met someone. Eh, hicimos contacto. Oh, no la pasamos to, muy bien. She tried to do a thing where she has an inside joke with her about earrings. Oh, because she had some beautiful, like, yeah. um, like star earrings. And I was like, hey, you know, next time I see you, me los prestas. Cool. Te presto mis aretes. That was going to be the joke. That was the joke. The insider. That was inside, right? Next time you see me, whatever. So I leave the event. Now, mind you, Vinny fucking had me park. 
he, he's really he helping no, the no, Lord no, humble me. No, here's the thing. Vinny's really helping God humble me. Nah. Like, he took me from here to here. We had to walk. It wasn't just walk. you. We were walking with Mondo Fresco. He did the same walk. You know, it wasn't just us. But I'm in but heels. <laughs> that's your fault. So we had to walk all around. Okay, so my feet that. are extra feeling. My feet are feeling <laughs> extra bad. I get in the car. I take off my heels and I make this fucking video and I'm like, I can't believe I wore high heels. La 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 la. Estas pinches viejas walking around with dirty ass, uh, dirty ass Air Force. And here I am with these heels, blah, blah, blah. Tell me why the next day she sends me a message and she sends me a picture of her and she's wearing Air Force. Hell yeah. Good for you. She sends it in a group way. too. At a, at a boy. She... She, so now our joke isn't me saying, oh, let me borrow your earrings. It's an earring. She's going to be like, oh, you said that I was the girl with the dirty ass Air Force. Yeah. And keep in mind, we're in a group message and everything was flowing so good before Melissa entered the chat. And then she put, oh, so nice to meet you. LOL. Like, try to make the earring joke. And then the first comment was uh, when well, she put like, by the way, I'm the girl in the in the Air Force ones, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Damn. Así que muchachos, si miran que ya no nos vuelven a invitar a un evento de Amazon, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess her, I'm going to general admission again. <laughs> fucking next time. I told her next time you gotta wear Air Force ones now. Like that's your. You have to. You have to I'm, humble yourself you have more. To you have to scuff your Air Force ones. No, no, I'm not. Well, this, <laughs> Ida chick is obviously younger than us because. No. She's not. Really? <laughs> and she had dirty Air Forces? No, they oh, were... Oh, my camera died. Oh, no, they were huh. clean. Oh, okay. Oh, she had... then she's older. Anyway, uh, Vinny's camera just died. It didn't die. It just uh... overheated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, overheated. This it's hot in here. Hot box, this fucking <laughs> sauna. I've never had mustache sweat. I don't even have a mustache, but I somehow have mustache sweat. <laughs> Comment down below, should we celebrate Halloween? Will I be invited to the next Amazon event? Ya que me metí la pata la boca. And send me money. <laughs> I need here. to be humbled. Send me money. Bye-bye. Ah,